Okay, so today I'm just making a really quick video on the Nintendo console add-ons. As you can see, Nintendo made many console add-ons for their system. However, the only one that was released in the US was the GBA player for the GameCube. That's plugged into the bottom of that GameCube over there. Okay, to begin, we have the Famicom Disk System. This system was released in 1986 that allowed uh, for data saving because at the time battery backup was kind of costly so Nintendo figured to be cheaper just to release this. It also allowed for games being cheaper than on cartridges because floppy disks are much cheaper than ROM based memory. On the top it has its RAM adapter. This is a system, it's a clone system, it says video TV game, but it looks exactly the same besides that. It has AV ports out which makes it better. And next we have the Satella View, which was released in about March 1995, so late into the Super Famicom's life. It lasted till about 2001, and then the broadcast for the Satella View by St. Giga were terminated. This is pretty cool for this to work. You had to have some sort of cartridge. There's the other ones, but the main one is the BSX cartridge. With this, you could download games over satellite. Such games included a few BS Zeldas, which doesn't stand for, I know what you think it stands for, but it doesn't stand for that. It stands for Broadcast Satellite, I believe. About three Zelda games came out to the service. One was a remake of the original Legend of Zelda. And then I believe two were different variations of A Link to the Past, but with new story. You didn't play as Link, you played as one of your avatars on the BSX cartridge. At the top there's an adapter for memory expansion to download games too. It's pretty cool. Next to that, we got the Nintendo 64 DD, which was released in 1999. Late into the N64's life, was never released into the U.S. market. It had a modem, which you can see on top. It was for its RandNet service. Now, they only released about 15,000 of these DDs. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but I've heard it because... The only reason they even released the DD is because Nintendo had a contract obligation with RANNET. So that's why they released the 15,000. And next to it, we have the GBA player hooked to the bottom of the GameCube, which was released in 2003. In the US, the only color that came out was black. In Europe, I believe only black is released. And I think Australia, they came out with a couple other colors. But in Japan, a bunch of colors came out. Like, I know orange came out for sure, black, and a few others. But we got stuck with plain old black, which I guess looks pretty good. It was probably the most successful of any of the add-ons besides maybe the disc system. It also is the only one that was released in the U.S. So yeah, let's just go over, pan over one more time to see all the systems pretty cool systems many people think Sega came off a lot of add-ons while well, Nintendo surprisingly also did as well however I think they're better in the way they designed them because none of these well the Famicom disk system can use it but it can be powered by batteries require more than one AC adapter to run all of these which is pretty cool Sega should have did that to what they did not so yeah just wanted to do a quick overview I never seen all these in one video like this quick overview of all the add-ons Nintendo made for their home systems thanks for watching